Hello everyone. Welcome back to Teresa's Kitchen. Do you ever feel like you are stuck in a loop? Same routine, same thoughts, same results? Well, what if I told you that there were seven powerful chords through which you could crack open your world and rewrite the script of your life during this week itself? These seven chords are not just motivational platitudes. They are potent truths ready to ignite a transformation within you. So prepare to have your perspective shifted, your fears challenged and your path to a brighter future illuminated. Buckle up because after knowing these seven chords, your life will never be the same. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and watch till the end as I dig deep into the chords to bring out its magical power for you. Quote number one, believe in sudden positive shifts. Things can change for you anytime. Just believe. My first favorite quote for the week is about embracing the power of sudden positive shifts. During this week, my mind keeps circling around a single powerful truth that life can turn on a dime. Friends, I want to remind you that it is belief and not circumstance that holds the key to unlocking sudden positive shifts. This isn't blind optimism but a potent cocktail of hope and action. It is a quiet hum of possibility beneath the surface of every challenge. We get caught up in the day-to-day, the bills, the routines, the feeling that our lives are on a predetermined track. But what if the track can veer unexpectedly not into a crash but towards a breathtaking vista? This quote reminds us that sometimes all it takes is an unwavering belief in a brighter tomorrow to nudge fate in our favor. Think of a locked door. You might push and pull resigned to its immobility but with a surge of belief you try a new key one you almost discarded the door creaks open revealing a path you never knew existed this is the essence of the sudden positive shift it is not about brute force but about aligning ourselves with the possibility of change this, however, doesn't negate the challenges we face. Mountains won't crumble because we simply wish them to. But belief ignites a fire within us. It allows us to see detours as opportunities, setbacks as stepping stones. It fuels the creativity to find unconventional solutions and the courage to take calculated risks. This belief isn't passive either. It compels us to take action, to nudge the door open, even if it is just a crack. It is about putting ourselves out there vulnerability and all because that is where the magic happens we open ourselves to connections to mentors to unexpected opportunities that would have otherwise passed us by the world rewards those who believe in its potential for good it throws lifelines to those who reach out even in the face of uncertainty so this week hold on to this quote let it be a mantra against cynicism a shield against doubt believe in the possibility of sudden positive shifts and watch as your world begins to subtly then irrevocably transform. Quote number two, know how to listen and you will profit even from those who talk badly. Plutarch. My second favorite quote for the week is about utilizing the power of listening in our daily life. 
even the most harsh and unpleasant conversations can hold hidden gems if we only possess the art of listening this week i'm pondering on plutarch's wisdom know how to listen and you will profit even from those who talk badly at first glance it seems counterintuitive why lend an ear to negativity the truth is even unpleasant voices can offer valuable lessons perhaps they expose a blind spot a flaw in our thinking maybe they unveil a concern we haven't considered by truly listening not just waiting for our turn to speak we open ourselves to these unexpected insights Imagine a dissonant chord in a song an untrained ear might dismiss it as noise but a skilled musician recognizes it as an opportunity to create a richer harmony similarly by embracing the bad talk as part of the conversation we can use it to create a more nuanced understanding of the higher aspects of life This doesn't mean agreeing with negativity it is about discerning the kernel of truth beneath the surface it is about separating the delivery from the message by mastering the art of listening we transform even difficult conversations into opportunities for growth success peace and happiness Quote number 3 It could have been different but it wasn't just let it be or let it go My third favorite quote for the week is about building a sense of detachment of letting things be as it is or just letting it go No single week is ever complete without our share of having to acknowledge the sting of regrets the court it could have been different but it wasn't just let it be or let it go cuts deep it confronts us with the past with roads not taken and choices made dwelling on these alternate realities can be a paralyzing exercise in futility but notice the subtle shift in the court It doesn't advocate for amnesia. It whispers a gentle let it be or let it go. This isn't about erasing the past but about acknowledging its lessons and then crucially moving on. Think of a sculptor. They don't start with a perfect vision. They chip away at the rough stone discarding pieces that don't fit the final form our past choices even the regrets are the discarded bits that shaped who we are today holding on to them hinders our ability to sculpt our future letting go isn't forgetting it is accepting It is understanding that the past cannot be rewritten but the present can be molded. It is about channeling the energy wasted on what ifs into shaping a what now that surpasses even the most fantastical version of what could have been. So this week let us embrace the power of belief the wisdom of listening and the liberating act of letting go with these three guiding principles we can navigate the unpredictable currents of life transforming challenges into opportunities and regrets into stepping stones on our path to a brighter future quote number 4 Be the flame that lights up the darkness and shows the way to someone in desperate need. My fourth favorite quote for the week is about the radiance of compassion. This favorite quote of mine for the week ignites a spark within me. It is a call to action that transcends self. 
be the flame that lights up the darkness and shows a way to someone in desperate need it is a powerful reminder that our lives hold the potential to illuminate the path for others it inspires us to be a beacon of hope in the darkest hour of someone we often get caught up in our own struggles feeling like we barely have enough light to navigate to our own journeys but the beauty of this court lies in its simplicity it doesn't ask us to be a raging inferno but rather a single steady flame even the smallest flicker can pierce through the densest darkness offering solace and direction to those lost in despair imagine a lone traveler traversing a treacherous mountain pass on a moonless night fear and uncertainty no at them suddenly they spot a distant light a humble cabin window perhaps that single light becomes a beacon guiding them towards safety and warmth we can all be that beacon for someone being a flame doesn't require grand gestures it is about offering a listening ear during a moment of despair extending a helping hand when someone stumbles or simply sharing a kind word when cynicism clouds their vision it is about recognizing the struggles of others and choosing to be a source of strength not indifference this doesn't mean neglecting our own needs compassion isn't self sacrifice it is a well spring that replenishes itself with every act of kindness by lighting the way for others we illuminate our own path fostering a sense of connection and purpose that enriches our own lives So this week let us carry the essence of this coat within us let us be the flame that cuts through the darkness for recognition but for the simple yet profound act of human kindness in doing so we weave a brighter tapestry for ourselves and for the world around us coat number 5 Real depression is when you stop loving and doing the things you love. My fifth favorite quote for the week is about recognizing the silent struggles of depression. This week's fifth quote confronts a truth we often whisper but rarely acknowledge. Real depression is when you stop loving and doing the things you love. It is a stark reminder that depression isn't just sadness it is a thief that steals the very essence of joy from our lives mental health conversations often focus on the outward signs the cheerfulness the lethargy but this court delves deeper exposing the insidious nature of depression It isolates us from the activities that once sparked passion, leaving a hollow shell where enthusiasm once resided. Imagine a painter who stares blankly at a canvas. The vibrant colors once their companions now seems to have become a source of indifference. The brush feels heavy in their hand. the spark of inspiration extinguished this is the essence of depression's grip it smothers the fire within leaving behind a crippling apathy however recognizing this truth is a first step towards reclaiming our stolen joy by acknowledging the absence of love for the things we once cherished we open a door to seeking help It allows us to understand that this isn't a personal failing but a treatable illness. This court doesn't minimize the very real struggles of sadness or grief.
but it sheds light on a different facet of depression the one that whispers lies about our passions and isolates us from the life giving forces of joy so this week let us be mindful of this silent struggle let us reach out to those who seem to have lost their spark not with judgment but with compassion let us create a space where open conversations about mental health can flourish let us remind ourselves and others that the embers of passion can be rekindled even in the face of depression's darkness quote number 6 if you don't step forward you will always be at the same place my sixth favorite quote for the week is about embracing the power of progress The sixth quote for the week motivates us with a powerful message of action. If you don't step forward, you will always be at the same place. It is a simple yet profound statement. It is a reminder that growth hinges on the courage to take that initial step. We all get comfortable in our routines. The familiar path, even if unfulfilling, offers a sense of security. But this court urges us to confront the stagnation that accompanies complacency. It challenges us to embrace the discomfort of the unknown, the uncertainty that lies beyond our comfort zone. think of a seed nestled deep within the soil it can remain there indefinitely safe but stagnant yet with a single crack in the earth's surface a determined push upwards the seed begins its journey towards the light taking that initial step no matter how small sets the wheels of progress in motion Stepping forward doesn't require grand leaps. It can be as simple as enrolling in a class that ignites your curiosity or striking up a conversation with someone you admire and wish to follow or simply trying out a new recipe. Each step, however seemingly insignificant, propels you forward, shaping your skills, expanding your horizons and bringing you closer to your goals. Of course, stepping forward can be daunting. Fear of failure or the unknown can paralyze us. But this quote reminds us that the alternative is far bleaker. remaining stagnant as a prisoner of our own inertia so this week let us embrace the power of stepping forward let it be a decision and a strategy that we shall implement to propel us beyond our comfort zones let it fuel our ambition and guide us towards a future filled with growth discovery and the sweet satisfaction of progress Quote number 7 Remember to count your blessings and rejoice over it it will be life and healing to you My seventh favorite quote for the week is about the magic of gratitude This week's bunch of quotes conclude with a beautiful message of appreciation Remember to count your blessings and rejoice over it It will be life and healing to you. In this quote is found a profound reminder that gratitude isn't merely a polite expression. It is a potent tool for cultivating a more fulfilling and resilient life. We often get caught up in the daily grind, the relentless pursuit of more. A focus narrows to what is missing what we haven't yet achieved but this seventh court urges us to shift our perspective it highlights the transformative power of acknowledging the good that already exists in our lives imagine 
a garden choked by weeds it is difficult to see the potential for vibrant blooms amidst the tangle of neglect but by weeding out negativity and focusing on nurturing the existing flowers the garden flourishes gratitude acts as the gardener weeding out negativity and allowing the inherent beauty of our lives to flourish the act of counting our blessings isn't about ignoring challenges it is about acknowledging them while simultaneously celebrating the good a supportive loved ones our resilient health the simple joys of a beautiful day etc This celebration isn't merely an act of positivity it is a wellspring of strength research has shown that how gratitude fosters resilience strengthens our immune system and increases feelings of happiness By rejoicing now blessings we create a fertile ground for growth a foundation of optimism that allows us to weather life's inevitable storms so this week let us incorporate this quote into our daily lives let us take a moment each day to count our blessings big or small let gratitude be our guiding light a source of life and healing that empowers us to navigate the world with greater joy and resilience wow that was some potent stuff right These chords are powerful reminders that we all have the potential to create amazing things and realities in our lives. Thank you for prioritizing your self-growth and investing your time in gaining valuable knowledge. Subscribing to this channel is your ticket to a treasure trove of life-changing wisdom packed with actionable tips and inspiring stories to help you reach your full potential. Let us build a community of growth-minded individuals together. So hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell and stay tuned for the next dose of inspiration. Have a great day. God bless you.